setting up your config in any game can be tedious and sometimes overwhelming, especially if you're not familiar with all the options to choose from, so I thought I'd make this brief series of guides to break down the do's and don'ts when setting up Unreal Tournament to help you find your ideal config. Now when it comes to setting up your config it's about finding the right settings for you, so although you can try my exact settings that I show you throughout the series, I highly recommend you experiment with your configs and find your own groove. So first let's start off with the player settings tab. Once in the tab we can adjust how cool we look by adding in a hat or some sunglasses, but really why we're here is to adjust weapon bob, view bob and field of vision. So what does weapon and view bob do? Well essentially it simulates a more organic feel when running across a map in Unreal Tournament giving a more immersive experience as you move around. Weapons will bob up and down giving a more weighted feel and jumping and falling will feel more realistic as you hit the ground. By adjusting the slider you can increase the bobbing effect dramatically or turn it off completely. Now apart from being more aesthetically pleasing on the eye there isn't any benefit to having weapon bob or view bob on. In fact most players will turn off view bob especially as it can be highly detrimental to your aim as you land from jumps and dodges. As you can see in this video as you hit the ground the impact causes your crosshair to drop as if you're bending your knees. This leads to a longer recovery time before your aim is stabilised again leading to inconsistencies or missed opportunities. Weapon Bob on the other hand will have no negative impact upon your aim, but some players find the constant up and down motion of the gun distracting and prefer to keep it off. So let's move on to Field of Vision, or better known as FOV. This enables you to see less or more of your peripheral vision. The higher the FOV, the more you can see overall, but higher doesn't necessarily mean better, it's all about personal preference and the style of player you are. For instance, my playstyle heavily relies upon my sniper rifle aim, where I like to fight at medium and long ranges, but when using a FOV such as 120, I feel as if it impacts my aim in a negative way. Although I can see more of my surroundings, it makes the details at longer ranges smaller and harder to focus on, and to me this makes me feel as if I'm losing accuracy at those longer distances which affects my playstyle. Now if I was to decrease my FOV to 80, I might see an improvement with my hitscan aim at distance, but this could lead to difficulties in a close range fight. With a limited field of vision, your enemy can break the line of sight more easily, making it difficult to keep up with the action, even more so if you're using a low mouse sensitivity. So what I aim for in my FOV settings is a best of both worlds scenario, where I feel as if my aim isn't impeded at long range, and that I can react and keep my opponent in my field of vision at all times in a close range fight. Now I find that middle ground at around 100 for me, but it could vary differently for you. You might find that at 105, 110, it's all about that personal preference and what feels good for you. Anyways guys and girls, I hope you found this tutorial useful, especially if you're new to Unreal Tournament. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz, and also don't forget to fiddle around with your FOV settings. Find what's good for you, and also remember to turn off view Bob, as it's really bad. Anyways, good luck, have fun out there in the tournament, I hope to see you out there soon.